what's going on everybody jake the happy snake here and welcome to episode 39 of pokemon trainer jake last time i left new bark town once again this time to head towards the pokemon league so i went through a little bit of route 27 and this time i'm going to continue on my way to the pokemon league to the elite four i've still got quite a bit of a ways to go but i do believe i can get there in the next episode so i've got vix in the front i did put volcano back in my party I put Celio back in the PC because it turns out I actually don't need Whirlpool anymore. So that's pretty nice. I did check in my copy of Heart Gold to see uh, if I did need it, but I don't, so that's good. Anyways, here is the first trainer of the episode. Hmm, you're good, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm very, very good. I have, I mean, I have all eight Johto badges. So an Ampharos, okay. Much lower level than my Ampharos. So let me see. Um, be easier to go to, to Aqua Sam, but whatever. We'll just go take down. Oh, you have static. Great. Just great. And you have thunder. Wonderful. Okay, uh, hopefully this won't miss. Oh, I'm paralyzed, of course. I was like, why are you faster? Of course. I'm paralyzed. What was I thinking? Oh my goodness. And I, I guess Focus Blast is a, is a pretty good move to have on him for us. Okay, uh, then we're gonna go Bulldoze. Alright, Ampharos will go down. Who is next? Glaceon, okay. Well, if I had Rock Slide, then this would be good, but I don't, so we're just gonna go Surf. And that's gonna do... Yeah, it's gonna do a little bit less than half, so... Whatever. Volcano can take care of this Glaceon, hopefully. So let's go with the uh, Flame Wheel. Oh, by the way, you may, you may also notice that I did actually register the Max Repels. That way all I have to do is press the... the I, I, have, I just have to press the, the, the button 4 uh, to use a Max Repel, so that'll make it a lot easier. And there we go, Glaceon goes down. All right. And a Sand Slash. Okay, let's go with Foul Play. That's a new move that I taught Volcano because I had a TM for it. Didn't really do anything, but it's okay. Uh, let's try Fire Blast now. That should do more, hopefully. There we go. Sand Slash goes down. Kind of surprised actually that that knocked it out, but good, just as I thought. What? That you're not a very good trainer? Yeah, you thought right. Okay, so I don't really feel like going all the way back to heal because it's kind of a long ways back. Uh, like, if I can fly back, no problem, but to get back here, uh, it's, it takes a little bit. So let's just use Revive. I'm not going to bother reviving Aqua Sand right now. Um, Alright, I'm going to save my Hyper Potion, so I'll use a Super Potion. Uh, and I don't really need to use two, so I'll just use one. Um, there is a Healing House eventually. Uh, I don't think we're we're not gonna be there for quite a bit. I don't think, uh, but I think there. I'm pretty sure there's a healing house. Um, so is there an item here somewhere? Because if there is, if there isn't, then I'm not really. So there's no heal. Okay. So then why does this little platform of land exist? That's what I would like to know. If there's no item, then it shouldn't exist. But anyways, it does. Here we go. Next trainer. Looks like it's a psychic. I can see it. Everything there is to see about you. That's a little intrusive, but anyways. Psychic Fidel has a Zatu. So that's gonna be good for Vixen. Okay, so we're gonna go with uh, Shadow Ball. This is kind of a no-brainer. I mean, Takedown might still do more, but... Oh my goodness. Psy Shock. All right, Shadow Ball again. Zatu goes down. There we go. And another psychic Pokemon, I'm going to assume. It's Mr. Mime. I've never really thought of Mr. Mime being a good Pokemon. But he doesn't evolve form now, or at least the Gala version of Mr. Mime. Mr. Rhyme. So Shadow Ball again. And there we go. Now, I'm going to... I am going to heal up Vixen. Vixen is my lowest level... Pancake. What level is Pancake? 
Pancake uh, is actually level 46. So let's give Vixen a bit of a break. Let's go with Pancake right now. Um, now, this is where it connects to the area where you can you can use um, Whirlpool to get to. But I uh, I don't I don't want to get there by using Whirlpool because that'd just be an extra space in my party. An Electrizer. Nice. That is not where you get the Electrizer in Heart Gold and Silver. I know because I actually um, in my copy of Heart Gold. I actually just, uh, like, I, I, ha I have an Electivire in my team. Uh, I got the, oh, nice revive. I got the Elekid, uh, for, like, through an egg. I made an egg of Electabuzz or whatever, and I made an Elekid egg, and um, you get the Electrizer in, I don't remember the exact cave. It's one of the caves in, I think it's the Cerulean Cave, um, but you don't get it. it. It looks like that you get it out here in Poke MMO, so that's interesting. Um, but yeah, so I can 100% confirm that that's not where you get the Electrizer in Heart Gold and Silver. But anyways, we have a Giraffe for Egg, not a Fairy Giraffe, which I actually, I used one of those in my team of, uh, my, on my team in Pokemon Violet, I used the Fairy Giraffe. Um, and it's cool that Giraffe for Egg finally got an evolution, I'm quite happy with that actually. You know, it's a cool Pokemon, it deserves an evolution. Uh, let's crunch again. Giraffe for Egg will go down. And, uh, let's see, Starmie, okay, um, I don't want to die, it looks like I might, and your defense falls, Crobat, can you live that, nope, oh well, go back to Vixen, we are going to heal up, I don't know if I'm going to be faster, um, let's just be safe and heal there we go psychic again no problem and let's go with shadow ball there we go okay who is your last psychic pokemon execute oh okay that's not that's not a problem at all shadow ball again And there we go, Execute goes down. And that is not level 47, I thought it would be, but I guess it was just an Execute, so I can't really expect much. Uh, okay, so we gotta do a little bit of healing here. Uh, let me use a Revive on Pancake. Again, I could just go back and heal, save on the Revives, but I don't really wanna do that. Um, let me use a... Okay, let's just use one Super Potion on Pancake, and let's use a Hyper Potion on Vixen. Uh, they're, they're the only two Pokemon I'm using right now because they're still level 40, uh, they're still level 46, and the rest of my Pokemon are at least level 40, uh, like, Janeway's level 47, Grassy is level 50, so, yeah. Anyways, here we go. Next trainer? You must, you came from Newbark Town? You must be exhausted. Well, technically, where I am, it's not too far from New Newbark Town, but, anyways. Arcanine, Arcanine. That's a uh, that's a little uh, that, that's a scary Pokemon. It's, it's a pseudo legendary, I think, right? It's the it's the, it's known as the legendary Pokemon. So I don't know. Anyways, let's go with like like when I say legendary Pokemon, like in its in its Pokedex entry, it's the legendary Pokemon. So I don't know. Anyways, um, okay, let's go with the acrobatics. There we go. Whew! Okay, so Pancake will get to level 47. Very nice. And a Sturmy! Oh, good. We're doing this again, aren't we? Great. Okay, is that less powerful than Psychic? I think I'm dead anyways. Yeah. Oh, man. Alright, uh, let's go to Janeway. Scald. Um. Okay, two Pokemon left. Nidorina. That would be good for Vixen. Let's go back to Vixen. Don't use like Brick Break or something. I'll actually be mad if you do. Sludge Bomb. That's okay. 
I was just gonna say as long as you don't poison me, but you poison me, so what can I do? Nothing. Uh, Zen Headbutt. Oh, oof. Okay. Hmm. So this should not this should knock her out, right? One more Zen Headbutt will do the trick. There we go. Okay, and now we'll get uh, Vixen to level 47. Okay. Very, very good. Okay, who is next? Chansey! Oh my gosh. Well, it turns out that Vixen knows the only fighting type move on my team. So we're gonna use it. We'll see what it does. It'd be nice if it's a 1 KO. It is! Good job, Vixen. Very, very good. Okay. So my team's in rough shape. So I'm gonna fix that. Okay, so my uh, my current total, as you can see, is $96,996. There's only two different numbers in that five-figure total. That's kind of funny. I've had totals like that in, uh, in Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire before. Anyways, here we go. How about you just slow down and give me the chance to defeat you? And how about you just shut up and give me the chance to, to destroy you? Manford? A Polyrath. Okay, I was not expecting you to have a Polyrath. I was expecting you to have a fighting type, but not a Polyrath. I was thinking about starting off with Crobat, and then I just decided to start with Aqua Sand. So let's just go ahead and use Bulldoze. Which is probably not going to do a lot. And I'm really mad about the stupid old Earth Power thing. That makes me so angry. I, the thing about Bulldoze, it does lower the speed. That is nice. That is really nice. Um, but it does, you know, it's just so much worse than Earth Power, which... I, I, I don't know where to get a, a heart scale. If I can get one somewhere, then that would be awesome. But again, it doesn't really matter because I'm getting towards the end of the adventure anyways. Um, so it's not a huge deal. But still. Anyways. Bulldoze again. That's going to knock out the Polyrath. And... Heracross! Oh yeah, now we're definitely switching out to Pancake. 100%. You're gonna, he's gonna probably use a grass type move of some sort. No, Mega Horn, but that's gonna do that. Yeah, that's gonna be like extremely ineffective. So yeah, this is gonna knock him out 100% because it's well, acrobatics on Crobat's already good enough because it's physical. Uh, you know, it does more damage if the Pokemon is not, hold, is not holding an item. Aquasan gets to level 48. I just want to see actually. Um, I want to take a look at Pancake stats for one sec. So yeah, okay. Yeah, physical attack is a lot better than special attack, so. Anyways, um, we got a fisherman down there, so how about we go to, actually, I think in Heart Gold to Silver, this guy has a Quillfish. I don't know if he does here. I'm feeling great today. I feel like I can even beat the league champion. Oh, man. Fisherman Scott. Yeah, yeah okay, he has a Quillfish in this too. Level 40. So this is not going to be a problem for Janeway. Discharge. Takes out the Quillfish. Level 48 for Janeway, very good. And he must just have three Quillfish. Quillfish has an Evolve form in, uh... Oh gosh, is it... I don't even know if it's Sword and Shield or if it's Scarlet and Violet. I think it's Sword and Shield. Uh, but I'm not sure about that. My knowledge on the new generation, the, the, the newer generations of Pokemon is pretty limited, especially Gen 9. I mean, I, I got Violet, I beat it, but beyond that, I don't really know much about it, to be perfectly honest, even though I did play through it. But certain things like that, I, I don't, like certain Pokemon that I never saw, I don't really know anything about. Um, anyways, uh, is there a way to get to that water? There has to be, but just not right now. Okay, uh, let's put Volcano in the front. I'm gonna use a Max Repel, just gotta press four. And there we go! Okay. Looks like another Psychic. Wow, look at all those badges. I'm impressed, but you're not satisfied by just collecting them, right? No, I wanna beat the League Champion. Speaking of which, I have to seriously consider teaching uh, Janeway Dragon Pulse, and I had, at one point, I had three Pokemon that had Confuse Ray. Now we only have one, which is Janeway. I might have to end up getting rid of Confuse Ray for Dragon Pulse. 
I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll, we'll have to see. Anyways. Okay, let's go with Flame Wheel to finish you off. And, uh... That's gonna get Volcano, I think, to level 48. Yeah! Very, very good. And an Espeon! Interesting. Okay. Alright. So that's probably gonna knock out Volcano. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, so, let me see. Let's go over to... Pancake. We're gonna go with Crunch and finish you off. And once again, Pancake and Vixen are my two lowest levels. Which is low, low, lowest level Pokemon, and I went over $100,000 again, so that's good. Good battle. I mean, I guess so. Uh, okay. Put Pancake back in the front. Um, so... We can surf, yeah, so this is how we get to the water, by down here, um, by coming down here. Now, I want to be careful because I don't want to jump the ledge. A big mushroom, I think I can sell that, so that's nice. Uh, alright, so let's go to the water. And, did I already fight you? No, I didn't. I don't know why I thought I did. Oh, hey you, will you help, will help me with my sunblock? Don't tell me, you'd rather battle? Yeah, I would much rather battle than put sunblock on you, Nikki. Okay, so you have a seal. So, this won't be too bad, I don't think. Just don't use an ice-type move, that, that's all I ask. Perfect. Acrobatics is such a good move. As long as your Pokemon doesn't have an item, it's, uh, it's, really, it's you know, really, really powerful. Okay. And cross poison. There we go. That finishes off the dugong. And that finishes off the battle. I'm worried about sunburn. Ah, jeepers. Uh, we have a little bit, a little bit of land here. I'm gonna do the same thing again and just see if there is a hidden item. Um, a nugget. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So we're just gonna keep doing this. Um, because I just want to make sure. Okay. Now we're going to go down. I feel like I'm doing the Deoxys puzzle from the, uh, the Emerald event. Okay, so we had, there was a Nugget, so that's nice. I can sell that as well for $5,000. Um, so let's keep going. That's all the Serpent I can do, I believe. I just want to make sure. My Repel is going to... Not right now, actually. Oh, I have to go back around anyways, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, that's fine. That is totally fine. So, saved a few steps there with the but by not using the repel, now I'm gonna use another one. Um, so I battle that guy. So I'm gonna battle this trainer, and I think that might be the, the healing house up there. I think this will be the last trainer of the episode. Psychic Herman has an execute, so that's gonna be good for Crobat. So, let's go ahead and use Acrobatics. All of... Wow. All of Pancake's moves are super effective on Execute. That's funny. Well, being Psychic and Grass-type, it does have a lot of weaknesses. Fire, Bug, Dark, Flying. I can't even name them all. Poison. So, like, see, all of these are super effective. Let's just go with Acrobatics again to take out the Executor. Which I've, I've always kind of liked the idea of using an Executor, but i never actually done... Well... By the time this goes up, I may have, like, I'm planning on doing a playthrough, like, a personal playthrough of, uh, of Fire Red and using an Executor. Uh, Venoshock, uh, that does more, it, its power is double if the target is poisoned. Um, I'm gonna pass. Because chances are I'm not always gonna be fighting a Pokemon that's gonna be poisoned, and, uh, Cross Poison is pretty good. It has a high critical hit ratio, and it could possibly poison, so I like, I like Venoshock to be perfectly honest. And the second execute of the battle goes down. And there we go. Dot, dot, dot. Very good. Okay, so with that, let's see how close we are to the... Yeah, we're pretty close to the Elite Four. Uh, so one more episode is going to do the trick. This, uh, is this the Healing House? Yes. Thank you so much. This is actually so good. 
Thank you. Keep at it. Okay, this guy gives you a fishing rod, I think, of some sort. The fishing guru's younger brother! Uh, yeah, the fishing guru's outside the Lake of Rage. You seem to like fishing, am I right? Or am I right? I mean, not really. I haven't used a fishing rod once. People say I have keen eyes. So he gives us the super rod. That is the best fishing rod. Try your hand at fishing wherever there is water. Remember, you can catch different Pokemon depending on which rod you use. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Okay, so I'm going to end things off there. Next time on Pokemon Trainer Jake, I'm going to be finishing off... Uh, are we still on route... I think we're about to hit route... Uh, oh, we're, we've already hit route 26. Okay, so we're going to be finishing off route 26, and we're going to be making it to the... To the... Uh, to Victory Road. Not the Pokemon League, to Victory Road. That's where we're going to be going to next time. So thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on Pokemon Trainer Jake, episode 40. My goodness. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.